Everybody, Michael B the Game Genie here. Thank you so very much for watching. And in today's review, we're going to be taking a look at the New Wave Toys Dragon's Lair X Replicate Overhaul Edition 1/6 Scale Arcade. And hot damn, is it ever pretty? That's right guys, in today's video I'm going to be reviewing the Dragon's Lair X Replicate Overhaul Edition from New Wave Toys and I'm so happy they re-released this cabinet after I missed out on its initial run. I want to say a huge thank you to New Wave Toys for sending me out the Dragon's Lair X Replicate Overhaul Edition for the purposes of this review. So let's take a look at this 1-6 scale replica of the original arcade and explore the details that make New Wave Toys cabs so special and what the gameplay experience is like. There it is, the Dragon's Lair X Replicate Overhaul Edition from New Wave Toys, placed in its excellent shipping packaging as always. You will notice they have also included one of their new and super neat cinematronic stools that we will also talk about on today's review. I mentioned this in my Missile Command review, I have to state it again here. I love the attention to detail New Wave Toys shows to the original arcade, even in terms of the secondary shipping box they provide that replicates an original arcade shipping box. Once that is out of the way, we get down to the actual packaging for the 1-6 scale arcade, and once again they have created a beautiful box that features authentic Dragon's Lair art and a motif that perfectly represents the property. So guys, let's go ahead and open up the Dragon's Lair X Replicate Overhaul Edition from New Wave Toys. We're going to open up this beautiful box, and as you can see inside, there's more beautiful Don Bluth artwork for us to take a look at. And of course, we've got a bag with the instruction manual and several other little items. New Wave Toys always include so many goodies in the box, but I want to show you this picture again. Just look how beautiful that artwork is. The beautiful princess. Oh, I'm very excited anytime I get to take a look at her. Let's go back to the bag now and see just exactly what is included. So first off, we've got this New Wave Toys envelope here with more Don Bluth artwork and I struggled to get the envelope open for some reason, we'll find out what's inside. It's a beautiful poster for Dragon's Lair the game on cardstock, really cool inclusion. Of course we've got our mini laser disc that we're going to talk about more in a little while. We've got a little sticker of the princess I'll probably give that one to my daughter there are some optional control deck replacement skins and then of course our tokens and last but not least they have the instruction manual that's actually done up like the original arcades uh, operators manual so very cool inclusion from new wave toys Okay, so now we can start taking the items out of the box finally. We have optional ball tops to replace the one that's included with the control panel. We also have a USB-C charging cable. You will note, however, that this does not come included with the brick itself, so you will have to provide your own brick. I don't like that that's done nowadays. And then last but not least, we have the actual Dragon's Lair Arcade itself. And as I actually got it out pretty easily, you can see the arcade is once again packaged in some very nice plastic to make sure it comes undamaged to you by the time it gets to your home. And there is the arcade in all its glory, an exact 1-6 scale replica of the original Dragon's Lair machine. Now that we have the machine out of the box and all the included parts, wow what a stunning machine and what a package. Some of my absolute favorite inclusions are of course the tokens they include with every game and here they also included additional ball sticks toppers in case you want to change the color out as well as a replica laser disc which the game originally came on. Don't worry as this game runs off the Daphne emulator and the disc is just for show but can be stored safely in the replica laser disc player found on the shelf in the back of the cabinet. 
again, top marks for attention to detail. The cabinet itself is beautiful and an essentially an exact replica of the original arcade in the 1.6 scale. The form factor is 100% accurate to the original and the art is the classic Don Bluth animated side art. The original Dragon's Lair cab featured blank side panels with the Dragon's Lair side art featured on a vinyl sticker on the side of the cabinet and they have perfectly replicated that here. The marquee is an exact replica of the unique three-sided marquee used for the original arcade cabinet and unlike other home arcade recreations, they did not adjust the size of the marquee in any way as it is accurate to scale. The marquee features more beautiful Don Bluth artwork from the game and also lights up in a way that perfectly shows off the art and isn't too bright recreating the experience from the original arcade's marquee. Underneath the marquee you will find both the faux speaker grates as well as the tiny alphanumeric scoreboard. The speaker grates are in fact square to recreate the look of the original arcade while other offerings did have working front speakers but used an alternative speaker grill that did not match the original. The scoreboard itself is spectacular and is an exact replica of the original scoreboard and not a facsimile like used on the arcade 1UP cabinet. Unlike the speakers, the scoreboard isn't just for show as it will accurately record your scores and lives during gameplay. The separate alphanumeric scoreboard was such a cool feature on the original and made the game unique and it's awesome to see so much care and attention to detail paid to that feature. The screen looks great with vibrant colors and no visible washout from any angle. Unlike the Missile Command cabinet, this does not feature the new convex CRT lens technology and that is honestly a good thing as the screen is clear and we don't have the same problem with reflections that Missile Command did potentially obscuring gameplay. Although it is only a tiny 4.2 inch LCD screen, I have no problem seeing the screen and getting immersed into the experience on it. If you do find the screen to be a little small, there is an option to output your gameplay to a TV through an HDMI on the back of the cabinet. Unlike Arcade 1UP and iArcade, this picture does appear in the correct 4x3 aspect ratio when output and even features sound. What a novel concept, right? This isn't just a cool feature, but another attention to detail piece as the original arcade cabinet was capable of outputting to a second monitor so people could watch the game others were playing on the cabinet, and this HDMI also allows just that. I will say the picture quality from my capture experience was a little grainy, but that may come from using the original ROM not cleaned up. The control panel is yet again an exact replica in the 1.6 scale to the original arcade and even features the unique waterfall deck that rises up to meet the angle of the screen. The artwork on the control panel is beautiful just like on the side sticker and marquee. The buttons and sticks on the control panel are very tiny and are designed to replicate the original arcade and not to accommodate an ergonomic gameplay experience. You will find the controls slightly clumsy at first, especially if you have fat hands like myself, but after adjusting to them you will be making your precise inputs in no time. In the very front of the cabinet we have a faux metallic replica coin door that even features the Cinematronics logo just like the original. You will notice the buttons on the coin door do in fact light up when the machine is powered on and really completes the authentic arcade experience. These buttons are more than just for show though as you can actually press the coin slot buttons to coin into the game and I think that is just awesome and standard for the replicated line I have experienced so far. On the back of the cabinet you will find the cabinet's actual speakers which produce a surprisingly high quality sound from a device of this size at this price range. You will also find the power on off switch, volume control, two USB slots for external controller usage, the HDMI out we mentioned earlier and the USB-C charging slot. The replica 1.6 stool may not serve much purpose other than decor for your 1.6 scale arcade cabinet, but that doesn't mean it isn't quality. The stool legs are made of a die cast metal and have some serious weight to them and the cushion seat feels great with the faux leather material over it and the branding of course ties in nicely with the cabinet. When it comes to the game itself, well, you are getting Dragon's Lair in its purest form here. This is the original ROM in all its glory running off the Daphne emulator. There are no noted audio or graphical issues to date and the game is shown in its original 4x3 aspect ratio. For those of you out there looking to play the definitive version of Dragon's Lair and don't mind micro controls, this may be it. For those not familiar with Dragon's Lair, it was originally a Laserdisc game that featured different animated video response based on the player's inputs in relation to on-screen cues. Essentially, it was a choose-your-own-adventure book put into an arcade cabinet. 
The game was a notorious quarter muncher as it was more expensive than other arcades at two quarters per play and there wasn't much indication given on screen on how you were supposed to react to certain situations so you would continuously play relying on a combination of trial and error and memorization. I love Dragon's Lair and have been having a blast playing it on this cabinet. The on-screen visuals are fantastic with a clear and vibrant picture. The sound quality, as I mentioned earlier, is excellent from the included speakers and there are no audio issues I've experienced to date with missing or garbled audio and no audio sync issues. The one issue I did find with playing the game itself early on was getting adjusted to the controls and often I was either missing or entering incorrect inputs. Where Dragon's Lair is such a time sensitive and accuracy based game, overcoming this hurdle was a little frustrating as at first my hands felt cramped trying to use the small controls. As I get used to the sticks my gameplay experience quickly improved and I found myself getting further and further through the dungeon on my way to rescue the beautiful princess from the clutches of the evil dragon. So guys, that's my look at the Dragon's Lair X Replicate Overhaul Edition from New Wave Toys, and I'm so happy I finally got my hands on this. From an aesthetic perspective, this is everything I would want a 1-6 scale replica of the original arcade to be, and even more. Nobody in the home arcade space puts as much love and care into recreating the classic arcade experience as New Wave Toys, including little details such as the shipping box, owner's manual and hell they even included a laser disc and player which stored directly in the cabinet which is just chef's kiss. While I did find my initial gameplay experience a little clumsy I quickly got acclimated to it and really enjoyed the experience. This isn't just a shelf decoration but also a viable option to play the game and maybe the best potential option to enjoy Dragon's Lair outside of playing on the cabinet itself. Anyways guys let me know down in the comments what do you think of the Dragon's Lair X Replicate Overhaul Edition from New Wave Toys. Is this a cabinet you've already picked up? Is this a cabinet you're potentially interested in picking up? Let me know. Also, let me know what you thought of this review. Anyways, guys, I want to say once again, thank you so very much for watching. This is Michael B. The Game Genie. I'll talk to you guys next time.